magnificent standard tune what a wonderful world in the key of F where Louis Armstrong sang it and has the most definitive version of this song although many people have done it Tony Bennett Michael Buble Katie Lang Leanne Rhymes S brands are spalding many movies so get your F inversions under control and having said that this is not a song for beginners unfortunately you need to have some kind of knowledge of how to get through some pretty mildly complicated chords certainly beautiful harmonic and melodic movement in this tune there's your F that I want from you please first inversion two parts in this tune we're going to start with a verse we'll head to the middle verse 1 da da F Drop your outside fingers and you've got an A minor 7. Everything to the B flat. Da, 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 da. A minor 7. Back to that B flat shape in your right hand, but a G in your left hand. Makes it a G minor 7. Da, da, F. Da, da. A7. There's the 7. You can put that E in if you want. Although I prefer it without. Da, 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 da. D minor. And I. D flat major to myself. There's the G minor again. What a C. Wonderful world. Now the end of the first verse has a turnaround in it. Raise your middle finger. Take your left hand to an F sharp. We're going to dig out that next G minor 7. Resolving to the C. Puts us back into the F for the second verse. Here's that turnaround again. F. Middle finger to the F sharp. A G minor 7. And the C puts us back for the second verse. Da da ba. F. A minor. Seven. Running back down through the G minor. Ba, da, ba, to the F. A7. Da, da, ba, to the D minor. To the D flat major. Said to myself. Raise your middle fingers. Get yourself a G in your left hand. Minus seven. What a C. Wonderful world. You can just turn around the G flat, the, <laughs> the B flat, the F to the B flat. Coming into the middle. So that's what the verses do. There's only two of them, and at the end, the, the first verse is repeated. So here we are at the middle. You want to pick up that G up top because that's the melody. It's a C at nine. Da, 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 Goes to the F. Using different inversions now. Ba, da, 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 F. Da, da, da. So it does it twice. To a D minor. Ba -da 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 -da. To an A minor 7. And it does this twice. Ba -da 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 -da. Got to know your inversions if you're going to make this sweet. Da -da. To an E7. It's a beautiful movement, this one. you got to have that D in there. Ba -da -da -da. Minor, C. 
So let's just look at that again. C add 9. Ba -da -da -da. middle finger and you're in a D minor ba -da -da -da, ba -da. get everything to an A minor seven twice ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Da -ba -da. E seven da -da -ba to an A minor So once you've got all these chords under control, I'll show you how to make some sense and make it feel good in a couple of different ways. Key of F, it's a beautiful key, great for horns, great for uh, male vocals as well, and it's a beautiful song to play and sing when you've got these chords under your fingers, come to the advanced lesson.